The World Health Organization is warning that it's possible COVID-19 may be here to stay. This virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities, and this virus may never go away. WHO Emergencies Director Mike Ryan says it's impossible to predict when the pandemic might be controlled. He adds that without a vaccine, it could take years for the population to build up enough immunity. And even if a vaccine is found, controlling the virus would take a massive effort. Nearly 300,000 people have died from COVID-19 worldwide. With more, I'm joined this morning by Dr. Isaac Bogosh. He's an infectious disease specialist. Doctor, good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Um, are you surprised that we would hear these comments from the WHO that COVID-19 really could be <laughs> here to stay? It's a bit of a downer to start the day, really. I mean, uh, I, I'm not entirely surprised. I mean, he, he's he, obviously he's, he's not wrong. We, we, we truly need a vaccine to help keep this under better control. Uh, we know that there's you know about 90-ish teams working on vaccination, probably two to four percent of those teams will be successful uh but there's the chance that we don't have a vaccine for a while there's a chance that this really may just morph into something that we see perhaps with seasonal transmission in the winter uh so it, it certainly is a possibility but uh, obviously I, i'm still betting on uh, human ingenuity here and uh and the creation of an effective and durable vaccine so if there is a vaccine and again this is what we're all hoping for how long would it take for it to be available? And would the effects of it, would the protection, prophylactic effect, would that be immediate? Yeah, it's, it's hard to know. In a perfect world, we'd have a vaccine, uh, develop, uh, you know, a, de a vaccine that's proven to be effective in the coming few months. Uh, and what's happening is simultaneous to uh, all these researchers looking into creating an effective vaccine, What's happening in, simultaneous to that is industry is ramping up capacity to mass produce a vaccine that we don't have yet. So not when, but, or sorry, not if, but when we do have a vaccine, there will be a tremendous capability to create and mass produce this so it can be distributed. I really think that there have been some good advances on the vaccination front. And, you know, never before in the history of humankind have we really had infinite brain power and truly infinite resources being poured into this. And actually, when we look at some of the research that's being done, there's some pretty advanced candidates, which, and it looks really impressive. So, you know, we don't know if the vaccine is going to be 100 percent effective. We don't know uh, if it's going to be effective at all. We don't know when it will be available, but certainly we'll have some early results on some vaccine effectiveness by about late June. Ontario Premier Doug Ford is making an announcement today about the province's reopening plan. What are you watching for today from the Premier? I really hope that there is a cautious approach to reopening. We want this to be uh, slow and gradual and safe. Of course, it has to be mindful of, of public safety and mindful of protecting employers, uh, employees, customers. Uh, and I think the communication point is key as well. I, obviously, everyone wants to get back to work and, and have some semblance of normalcy, but I really hope the communication point is there where they say, we're going to do this, we're going to do this slowly, we're going to take all the safeguards uh, in place to do this appropriately. However, if there are outbreaks, if there is an unacceptable number of new cases of COVID-19, we may need to scale back. And it's extremely important that people are aware of that. How do you distinguish between um, an outbreak and just more people getting COVID-19, which we know is going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, well, right now in the province, we're having around, you know, 300 to 400 new cases per day. You know, it's not ideal, to be fair. It's not ideal. Uh, it's certainly a lot better than having about six to 700 new cases per day where we were at, uh, you know, several weeks ago. So things are certainly getting better. A lot of these cases, really, about 60 percent of them are clustered in, in and around the greater Toronto area. But, uh, you know, so some parts of the province are certainly much safer uh, to open up than others. But we know people move around and can certainly introduce this into other places as well. Uh, so, you know, it, essentially we need phenomenal surveillance tremendous capacity to do diagnostic testing, tremendous capacity to do the contact tracing in, in, and do this all rapidly. And that way we can detect possible outbreaks or increases in the number of cases in real time and quell them 
in real time so it doesn't spiral out of control. Dr. Bogosh, thanks so much. Great to see you. Take it easy.